Hey everybody, I'm Brandon Booth, the president of Signpost End Ministry, and I'm really excited to talk to you about the future of our ministry. We just had our staff retreat in the mountains with our board and staff, and God gave us a new question to ask. He told us to stop asking, what can we do with our meager resources, and start asking, what does he want us to do with his infinite resources? Here's what he wants us to do. Here's our calling. Our calling is to walk with people in this chaotic life and help them lift their gaze and sustain it on Jesus. Here's the problem. You know it as well as I do. This world is crazy and our souls are in chaos. There's distraction everywhere. There's suffering. People are afraid of God. There's sin and we struggle to even trust and feel like he's present. Well, Signpost End Ministries is uniquely positioned to help people in this chaos. With our unique and powerful blend of historical Christian wisdom and true heartfelt compassion, we actually are helping people change the way they think and feel about God. And that's a big deal. I encourage you to read the email because there are many stories of how people are being changed. We're hearing of people who are reading scripture anew with hearing Jesus's compassionate voice behind it. People who beforehand couldn't read scripture because it carried trauma, it carried pain. Now they're actually able to go and say, I can hear Jesus's voice in this, Jesus's voice that cares about me. We're, t we're hearing about people who are praying more, being able to be honest with God, sometimes for the first time in their life, because they feel like God cares. They feel like Jesus wants to hear them. We're seeing people go back to churches, finding solid communities that support them. We're hearing people who are going to therapy because they realize they need help and they're so tired of isolating. These are the kinds of things that, that our ministry is enabling every day through spiritual direction, through retreats, through our really unique and abundant resources. People are having an encounter with God that changes the way they feel about the way he feels about them. They're reimagining the way that God relates to them. And this is so, we've never needed this more in our time because of all the chaos. So we are thinking, what does this look like in the future? What is God asking us to do in 2025 and beyond? And we know that he wants us to grow. I truly believe that Signpost Inn is positioned to be in the next five years, a nationwide influence, something that changes the way thousands of people relate to God. Again, nobody's doing it quite like we do in this field because we do take very seriously the historical Christian wisdom found in scripture. We are rooted in the Nicene Christianity, but we also understand how to be truly heartfelt and compassionate, how to bridge that gap between hard and serious theology and the needs of a heart. And that's unique. I want to see that expand. So we, we've identified three key initiatives that we need to do. Uh, first of all, we need to expand and grow our content. We've already got a ton of great stuff, but we want to unify it, grow it, and get it out there to more people so that in this space, we become a trusted thought leader so that people actually know to come to us when they're struggling. The second thing we want to do is we want to grow and develop our ministry to our donors and to our supporters and friends. Uh, we want to actually turn to you and be a support for you. And then finally, we want to grow and uh, grow and train our staff. We've identified that we need some big help. <laughs> we need somebody to help us in marketing. We need somebody to help us in donor development. We need people to help us in our content ministry. So we are looking to expand in all of those areas. In the next five years, my hope, my desire and prayer is that our team has doubled or even tripled, and we are actually uh, able to help even more people than we can now. In order to do that, we obviously are going to need more funds. Now, I'm not asking you to give today. All of you are already our supporters, and, and we are so grateful for you. What I'm asking of you today is two things. The first one is tell people about Signpost In. 
If you look at the email, there's a bunch of stuff that we do. You can see all the things we do. If it's ever impacted you, if you have benefited from what we do, please tell somebody about that. And here's the key. It's important. Do it in your own words. You don't need to know our story. What matters is your story, your encounter with God through Signpost Dead. The reason that's so important is because we're looking for people who are in a world that they don't trust social media. They don't trust advertising. Uh, we're cynical when we hit the, when somebody calls us on the phone, right? And it says telemarketer. So rightly so. What we need you to do is tell your story. What has it meant to you? And, and spread the word about the sort resources and stuff that we offer, which is a lot already. And then the second thing I'm asking you to do, and this one is actually crucial. This is the important one. If you know other people who resonate with our mission and would like to support us, especially donors of significant means, if you know somebody who has the capacity to give $50,000, $100,000 or more, then we need you to introduce us to them. Now, look, we're looking for people who already get it, who want to invest in something different, in a unique ministry. It's not a program. It's not a curriculum. It's actually a different way of relating to God and to this world. If you know people who would resonate with that, that have significant means, then I want to meet them. Contact me. Let's make the connection. I'll fly out there and meet with you, with them. I'll pitch it to them. I'll show them what we're doing. That's the, the big one. If you know somebody of significant means that would really like to invest in this work, contact me today. Send me an email, sh call me, and let's make that connection. Thank you. There's a lot of more information in the email. Please read it and then reach out. Tell us how we can help you. Thanks.